a brief introduction to our topic. In today's era of digital technology, social problem and moral collapse among adolescents are increasing being reported in newspaper and on television. Many cases were recorded in terms of communication act. In Surah Al-Isra verse 32, they say, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wala taqrubu zina Innahu kana fahishatan wasa'a sabila Meaning, and do not come near to adultery. Surely as a bin, and obscenity and odious as a way. Allah prohibited us from doing zina in order to save us from the danger of adultery. But nowadays, many of these cases happen. So, what is the danger of adultery in society? First of all, what is actually zina? According to the Islamic view, all other sexual relationships are considered zina, such as fornication, including adultery. Zina can heavily affect society morals and family institutions. Let us begin with Zina's impact on the society as a whole. One of the biggest problems we have today is that people don't know their lineages. A person will not know who is their father. Even in the West, they realize the danger of this and they try to set up a ways to determine the lineages of people, such as paternity tests, DNA tests, and many more. Other than that, Zina can also sexually transmit incurable disease such as AIDS and other illness such as herpes and a variant of other illness. And we see that. Moreover, adultery can lead to the birth of illegitimate children in society. People who commit adultery will usually leave their children in a hidden place or more likely to brutally kill their children because they are afraid of losing their social status and relinquishing their responsibilities as a parent. We have invited Ustaz Sharuddin Zakaria bin Abdullah from SMA Tafakia to dive deep to this topic. So, uh, we would like to ask you a question. So, we are willing to hear your opinion on what are the factors that cause these six senses to happen. The the things right now is uh, Muslim people, right? Do they understand, really understand what is Zina about? And then do they know what is a punishment if they say you are doing Zina? So the deep knowledge or understandings of Zina in the Islamic context, I think Islam, Islam's context, need to be leveraged and then explained to all the people without a clear understanding of the term of zina and also the the significant punishments and then why and also understanding the reason why islami try to avoid uh, or, or what they call prevents this zina if let's say they don't have a clear understanding on this one, then actually it's quite difficult for them to try and avoid what is the uh, causes or the, the factor that I mentioned before, you know, like your eyes and then your your touching, uh, your your contacts, and then the the place. I think this is a this is a quite serious. So how actually they can can be done? with the proper understanding, I think we can start teaching the the lesson or inform with our family members. I think this is a, one of the famous, uh, what they call, we on how actually we can manage uh, the uh, the situations. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, that can help us to give a clear uh, view and then uh, also understanding for our children first, for, for our family members first, before we, we want, want to talk to uh, global things. So while every each members of family or parents take part teaching their family members in, in a proper way,